Let it go. You recording nothing? I don't think I got enough footage for yesterday's vlog, so recording today. Jaden wants his daddy to walk him inside today. Why you got here? Oh, ma'am. Big boy, huh? There's Jackson. <clears throat> There's one of your friends. That's a hot friend. Today's gonna be a great day. What color are you gonna get? A blue. That's right. Come here. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Grayson. Is that a dog? Is that your dog? Was that a mean mug face you give me? It don't matter, I still keep, I still keep this in the world. It don't matter, I still keep, I still keep this in the world. Go girl, high five. Too much fun. No, okay, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually like my job. <laughs> yeah, she'd love her new job. Or it's not really new anymore. Let me see that cute butt. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> love you. Love you. Ooh. I'm just listening to that song. <clears throat> it just came out a couple days ago. Toby Mac. It's about Toby Mac. It's called. 21 years. Check it out on YouTube. There was two of them the other day. It's like a, a hawk or something. He's just sitting there. squirrels and little like rabbits and rodents that run around our little neighborhood so I'm pretty sure he hangs out in that front yard because there's a lot of space to to like watch he just sitting there and watching there was two of them yesterday it's crazy I'm glad I got on camera that time but yeah he's probably about to get him some food it's not, it's not a turtle what is it? it's a good job <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is that you, baby? People don't say anything to you. You have a dog, people will say hi to you. Right? Yeah, so people, dogs really break up that social or bring that social interaction. They just neutralizes things. You know, it creates that friendship and that willingness to talk and to know about something. Without a dog, we stay away from each other. You bring a dog? Everybody wants to know something or at least in mushroom? somebody's mind. Uh, the dog, you know, look at what the dog is doing. No it's mushroom? So cute or so funny or whatever. Uh, it changes people's state of mind. So make good sense? job. Okay, I was pretty naive, but obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but I really, I really believe that, you know, like, cheese. Like, you say walk the dog will go into jumping, uh -huh. sugars, whatever. <laughs> so far. Walker. He's 
grabbing the leash, pulling back as hard as she can. Laying on the ground, not wanting to walk. This behavior is, is my fault. It's, uh, for me, not spending the one-on-one -on -one time with her. Usually every time I'm spending time with her, it's like a pack thing. We're all together and she's not on a leash. So this is just to show you how important one-on-one -on -one time with a dog is. Uh, so important, one-on-one -on, -one on a leash time with a dog is so important. I teach her to follow me and I'm the leader. She does not understand this. I've done like, I just started working with her really. I've had her a couple months, but uh, she was literally log rolling when I brought it here by herself. So we're not exactly having one-on-one -on -one time right now. Um, I've got Monet out here with me because she knows how to properly walk on a leash. This dog was literally having a panic attack, rolling and rolling and like just acting completely out of her mind because she had never been walked on a leash before. She, uh, she always follows me and I mean, she understands certain things with the certain things that she needs to learn. And right now at least she's walking because uh, she has her buddy with her. But she's got a long ways to go. I just wanted to record this. I wish I would have got on film her doing the roll thing so you could see how severe it was. But uh, the training starts today and y'all will watch her grow with me. Again, as you can see, she's pulling as hard as she can. To not walk. Showing a lot of progress right now already. Seeing that she was doing the log roll a second ago, having a panic attack. Just a few yards, a few yards down the road, and already showing a lot of the signs of an improvement. But we still have a long ways to go. And some of you may ask why she's this age and she's never been walked on a leash. Well. I spend lots of time with all my dogs every day. Nobody can take that away from me. My wife can vouch for that. Kids can vouch for that. I spend just as much time with the dogs as I do them. But when you have as many dogs as I do, it's just a different story. And you know, I'm not proud that I haven't walked her on a leash yet. It just really has just slipped my mind because I work with my dogs every day. And I just, you know, usually go on pack walks where it's several dogs and I just have to take her on those or we just we play so much in the backyard um, it's easy to to get confused I need to write down which dogs just have certain days for certain dogs to go on walks like Stella her grandmother I walk her run her every day because she's just got that pent-up energy where she has to get that exercise but Wakanda here the dog that we're talking about you know, I just let her out in the backyard and she takes all that energy out herself. You know, she runs around with the puppies, she runs around with all the dogs, and she's out there by herself. She's just running, 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 you know, and then she's good. She's just wound up like how I showed you on the last vlog. She gets really wound up when I first let her out, you know. Uh-uh, Grayson, sit down. All right, well, I got to get back to pushing Grayson. She's trying to get out of her little seat here. But yeah. Kanda, you ready, mama? She's like, heck no, I hate this. <laughs> She'll be loving it, trust me. Just follow and watch the process. Come. I had to tie Monet on here. Yeah, she's getting wild. Cut that out. Comes a car. Come on.
Now that I got her walking, I need to go put this other dog up because she's just making it complicated. That's another thing, thing trying to make these vlogs. You got kids and you're trying to record the dogs. It is just not easy, so I hope y'all understand how I can't post every single day. Like this right here, I shouldn't even be recording. I should be focusing on the dog. Just trying to show you all the process. You can see how the other dog helps her feel more comfortable though. You didn't get to see the beginning video, but it's crazy. Probably the worst I've ever seen from a dog on a leash, to be honest. I'm not exaggerating. She was, literally, I thought she was gonna like, <laughs> have a heart attack or something. She was like, just rolling, rolling, rolling. And she almost like passed out because she was panting so hard and I could not get her to calm down. So I just had to stay calm. When some dog's doing something like that, you just gotta stay calm until they calm down. <laughs> and um, this, the, the notion of the, you know, this is something I struggle with, you know, walking my dog, trying to not them. Play with brother. Nice land. Play with brother. Brother. <laughs> run, buddy, run. Who's the fastest? Who's the fastest? <laughs> Who's my baby girl? Say cheese. <laughs> We're waiting for Brother, is he playing? Yeah. Have a kiss. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna get you. We'll get you! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm frozen. She froze me. Oh, she froze me. I'm going. Get you! Get you, get you, get you, get you. Your hot lava. Your hot lava so you won't get freezing. Freeze. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, thought I hit the record button and I didn't. I was just talking to y'all for like five minutes about all this stuff about my little friend here, but none of it recorded. So, so let's try this again. I'm on the way to get Destiny from work right now. Just hopped out the shower, got my fresh DDK merch on. Shop ddklineapparel.com to get yours. Big shout out to my buddy Greg Addis Jr. I know he's got a bunch a bunch of merch from us he's been giving me shout out so i can give you a shout out buddy shout out to erica i know she got some donna and my boy hawk can't forget hawk tyler cole i know you got some merch too everybody that got merch from us thank you so much and god bless y'all because there's the north carolina merch too i uh, appreciate that no matter what kind of merch you get just thank you for supporting ddk but like i'm getting off subject but uh 
little fringy here you can see how she's she jumps a little bit it's not because she's cold Frenchy I call her Frenchy her name's Noel I told y'all all, all this so already so I'm trying to remember like what I didn't <laughs> what I said because now it's not recorded Frenchy what are you doing but yeah I call her Frenchy her name's Noel we got her two years ago two Christmases ago I got her for destiny so we named her Noel she was a Christmas present but she's an amazing dog we were originally planning on if she turned out the way that her parents looked you know and uh, acted that within uh, and she was healthy of course then we were gonna breed her but the breeder we got her from, French the Geo, was his name, French the Geo, if you want to look him up. But he uh, he either gave her her vaccinations wrong, or he didn't vaccinate her the right way, didn't vaccinate her at all, didn't vaccinate her enough or too much. I don't know what he did wrong. Something along the lines of that. I'm thinking that, you know, he did it wrong, or he just didn't do it at all, or maybe he only gave one shot. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, but... You know, she got sick, so I just took that as a sign from God that maybe the Frenchies aren't something that we need to dive into, but she can still be a great and loving pet. She's not in any pain. Um, she's on antibiotics, you know, like on one month, off one month, on one month, off one month because of her teeth. Her teeth are literally, like, rotting out of her head. Easy. Can't really show you. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Her teeth are literally like riding out of her head because she has like, she had distemper is what I believe it was. She just, she had distemper. So these are all side effects of having distemper. Of course it's gone now. She didn't have all the twitching and the messed up teeth and stuff when we got her, but she was really sick. She had like the flu when we got her. So, you know, we knew something was up. We took her to the vet. They didn't know at the time. They just said she was sick. They gave us some stuff. She seemed to get better than we had her four, five, six months. She started doing the twitching and, you know, she would whine in her sleep because she'd be twitching trying to go to sleep. It was real sad. So lots and lots of vet visits later. She's not in any pain now. She's a great dog, but, you know, she's not going to be bred. She's a great dog all around, as you can see. Just chilling, waiting for Destiny. She loves car rides. She eats good. She walks good on a leash. She listens good. That little tail, though. What in the world? <laughs> but yeah, all right. I'm not going to go on and on. I just wanted to tell you all about her because she's going to be in my videos a lot. And she'll be doing that twitch and stuff like you see on her shoulder right now. I just don't want anybody to be like, hey, something's wrong with your dog. If you're referring to her. That's Frenchy. Frenchy, 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 Frenchy. Frenchy, Frenchy, Frenchy. Frenchy, Frenchy. Hello, Frenchie. Oh, little Frenchie. Okay, I gotta put my seatbelt on. She hopped right up here quick, didn't she? Yeah, I couldn't even get my phone out fast enough. <laughs> sent me on a mission cottage cheese for her little egg bites thing she's trying to recreate the Starbucks egg bites uh, see if I can make it happen oh excuse me bingo mission accomplished oh music Oh wait. Corn dog time. Corn dog time. I 
just ran in PetSmart to get some crickets and stuff, but I forgot to vlog it. I seen a really pretty all white husky in there. I saw it. I should have recorded. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing he was a husky. He could be some kind of Malamute or something, but he looked like a husky. But he was solid white. He was super cool. And I sat waiting for him to come to the cricket station for a long time. But I forgot to record, but we got all kinds of cool stuff. Ain't it right, baby? Now we got some crickets here. I'm gonna put some. And that's my beard dragon right there. That's right, buddy. Can't really see it on camera. It's not much light, but it's the Rapashi Calcium Plus. Gonna sprinkle some of that on our little friends. Get it all over them real good. And we're gonna feed our little friend here. Gonna feed our little beard dragon some crickets. He got one so far. He'll get more. He's getting good at eating. Yeah. That's kind of weird. He's shedding right now. Yeah, he is. Guess he's not all that hungry right now. Maybe because his cage just changed and everything. Yeah, he's checking me out like, what's up, man? <laughs> we'll give him some fresh greens. Put that in that back there and get him some water. Oh, let's climb up on him. We'll get that off of him real quick. <laughs> Actually, I can give him some water. We tried to do it. I was close when once up there. He's king. Oh, but not anymore. Oh. Now he's a king, the beer dragon. He's a he's like, what's up boys? <laughs> Daddy, that fell off again. Greens, beans, tennis, man, jeans. Oh, one's calling them food. One's calling them food. Hey, Daddy, one's calling them food and got out. That's cray cray. <laughs> he crawled into the beer dragon's food and fell out. That's kind of, kind of funny. Oh, hey, little buddy. Get out here. Get out here. Get out here. Get out here. Oh, hey. Hello, buddy. What are you eating? You're eating something on your hand. Daddy, be quick. So, um, he didn't have light. He's getting scared of your hand, Daddy. Oh, he's about to eat one. He's about to eat one, Daddy. Oh, he got one. <laughs>